Now we'll go over the recipes page. Uh, the recipes, you use those a lot with machines where you've got uh, fixed you know, hardware devices, but you want them to behave different ways depending on uh, what, what you're producing that day. So you may define um, a number of recipes. And we'll, we'll demonstrate that here. So maybe, maybe you've got a device that makes baked goods and you've got, uh, you've got to add different quantities of each ingredient. Uh, so maybe pancakes require this setup. Uh, for bread, it's different, different quantities of things and, and cookies, it's, it's different still. Uh, recipes, uh, with them you can define what each of the items is. Let's say we wanted, uh, we wanted some really eggy uh, pancakes. We could do that. We could save it and then next time we come up to it you'll see that now it's uh, defined as having three eggs. I'll uh, move it back to one just for Sandy's sake. Um, okay, so, so that's kind of how recipes function. And we'll exit this. Uh, the way you create a recipe is over here. You'd right click, click new recipe. You see we've got one recipe to find. And you give it the number of uh, the, the length of the recipe, which is how many tags or variables you're wanting in your recipe. And then you give it the data type for those tags. And they all have to be the same data type. That's usually not a problem. Um, uh, frequently when in doubt, you could just use floating points because they cover pretty much any number. Um, and then you give the number of recipes you're wanting to work on. At that point, you uh, you can come over to, it'll create a grid like this, and you can name what each of the recipes is actually called, name it pancakes, bread, and cookies. And then you can fill out kind of the default values, the ones before someone goes and modifies things. You can, you can fill out what all the default values are. Um, so that's that's about it. It'll show you the address range that you need to use, and you see that we're we're going to be starting. Uh, we'll be starting at address. Uh, we're starting at address one here for the first piece of data, and these um, the recipes use uh, R W I, and then the number. So this is this is the item one, and uh, you'll see. Well, let me back up to this. The way you select the recipe is you create a recipe, you use a recipe selector. And those can be found right here, recipe selector. Um, and you would select, we, we're only using one recipe. Uh, well, you've only got one defined. And you can say, do you want it to be a list or a drop down menu? What kind of situation do you want there? And um, when you do that, that's what allows the other things, the LWIs on the screen, to switch between their respective uh, values, the ones that for whichever recipe we're working with. So we just define this as uh, RWI, the first variable in the set, and then uh, we have to make sure that our data type matches up. We defined each of these variables as being floating point, so we need to make sure those match up. And then the second one is going to be address 3, and that's because we're using floating point, which take two 16-bit registers. So we skip the address 2, we're now address 3, and then so forth. This is going to be uh, 5, 7, and 9. Uh, and then you probably want a button on your screen that allows you to save it. We're using a function button, and it's going to save the particular function that we selected. It's save the current recipe. So whatever recipe is currently displayed, uh, via this guy, that'll it'll save the variables you have on the screen. So uh, it's it's as simple as that. Um, there's other uh, more uh, complicated things you can do. You can write the the variables to the PLC, read them back from the PLC. You can do stuff stuff in that nature. But this kind of gets you started. And uh, if it hasn't been mentioned in another video yet, a, a great place when you run into some questions is this help. Uh, it's it's uh, it's it's got pretty good details. You can both search. You can search for stuff like recipes. You'll get tutorials there, uh, but also the contents breaks down uh, a fair number of the subjects, and you can really dig in.
so that's how recipes work. We're going to skip the final screen, the Velocio screen. I'll show you it here. It's just, just some text and another image. Um, so not much to show there.